Lastly, let's talk about our hominoids. Going back to our tree, hominoids are one of the groups in our catarines. Now we are talking about apes and humans. Um, these guys don't have tails and we see a wide variety of diets and also a wide variety of social systems. They also have a unique posture. These guys are orthograde. We are primarily upright. And we also have super mobile shoulders. So we can do this. We're actually old world monkeys. They can't. Their shoulders are kind of locked in this plane. We also have wide chest and our scapula is on the back or is dorsally located. And we also have a short and relatively inflexible back. So you can see here is a classic posture of a hominoid, and we can contrast that with an old world monkey. Their back is longer and more flexible, and you'll notice their chest is narrow and their shoulder blade is on the side. We can also contrast old world monkeys um, and apes a little bit more. You might notice apes have a broad nose and a broad palate and a slightly larger brain. We also have low cusp and rather simple molars. You can see we have a relatively shorter trunk and longer arms rather than a tail. So within our apes, we do have a couple groups. First, we have our hylobatids, our gibbons and siamangs. Here you can see genus hylobates. Some people call these the lesser apes, but that is a misnomer. These guys exhibit interesting territorial behavior and they sing to, de to denote their territory. And they have my favorite form of locomotion ever, brachiation. They swing arm over arm through the treetops and they can do this at very high speed. Like truly, it is magical. Um, so those things on the playground that you called the monkey bars growing up, nah, those should be the ape bars. Next, we have our hominids, our orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees, and finally us, the humans. All of these are large bodied, large brains. We use tools and we're hella smart. Let's start with our orangutans, our genus Pongo. These guys are in Borneo and Sumatra, different species in each place. These guys are actually solitary. They primarily eat fruit and they have quadrumanuous locomotion. Quad means four, man means hand. So they use all of their limbs as hands, including their feet. Orangutans are really heavy and they do live in the trees. So that's why they have this very slow, careful locomotion because if they fall, it's gonna hurt. So we can look at some pictures of Pongo here. In the middle, we have our adult male with his fully formed secondary sexual characteristics with his facial flanges. We also have some juveniles and a mother and her baby. Next, let's talk about the African hominidae or the ones that are more closely related to us, chimpanzees and gorillas. You'll notice that they all live relatively close to each other in, in West Africa. Um, here is gorilla, genus gorilla. They live in Africa. They are very, very big. Um, and they also have harem social groups where there is one male and multiple females. You can see in these pictures, gorillas are actually pretty docile and they take great care of their young. Next, we have genus pan or our chimpanzees and bonotos. You can see here that there's a wide variety in different faces. These guys live in Africa and they use tools and they are the most closely related primates to us. We can compare our common chimpanzee and our bonobos. You might notice the common chimpanzee is a little bit taller, a little bit more strong, and the bonobo is a little bit shorter and more gracile. There's also slight differences in their pig pigmentation. Bonobos tend to have darker faces, chimpanzees tend to have lighter faces. We do see a unique form of locomotion in chimpanzees and gorillas called knuckle walking. With their hands, they actually curl their knuckles on and stack them and they use that with which to walk. So you can see here they've ro kind of rolled their fingers and they're stacking these as they are walking. Um, it is kind of hard for humans to do it because you might notice your fingers end up a little bit uneven. So this is not easy for humans to do. Um, orangutans actually do something else. They fist walk. Um, so they kind of curl their hands and fists and walk on those. Um, again, we want to contrast our hominoids with our cercopithecoids. We are something called plantigrade. Um, so in old world monkeys, they actually have their heel raised. But in apes, our heel hits the ground and um, 
it's very different. And that actually um, is helped uh, humans because we have a very different foot structure because we are bipedal. And of course, lastly, we have genus homo or humans. There are many different humans out there and we uh, all look very different from each other. Um, we are bipedal and some people like to say we're special, but that's kind of up to you. So what are hominoids and what are the different groups within hominoids? Mm -hmm.